presented by That Wolf from Hyrule Productions. Hello, everybody. This is That Wolf from Hyrule. Welcome back to Snester Day. And uh, I'm playing the sequel to one of the games I played quite a long time ago. Well, more or less. Um, this is Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I have had a personal grudge with this game for the last 20 freaking years. I have never been able to beat it, legit, without using cheats or level skips or anything. I'm not about to try it right now, but let's just enjoy this intro. So, clap a thunder, and these bad guys show up to basically steal the princess, which we shall find out after this. I will say this, however. I love this game. The platforming, the difficulty, everything about this game. It's not terribly rage-inducing, but there's unlimited continue, so you can't really make the excuse of, Oh, I can't beat it, it's too hard. Well, just like the first game, except for minus the graveyard sex part. Yeah, this bastard comes and steals her, and thus begins the hero's quest. <laughs> One thing that makes this game way more enjoyable is the music. Oh my god. When they made this game, they stepped the music up so much. And this was definitely technically impressive for the Super Nintendo. I got the knife. Okay, just like with the, f just like with Ghosts and Goblins, get the knife. It's probably one of the better weapons you can get starting right off. And also, notice what I did there. I went over the tree, I jumped up, and it caused this chest to appear because right off the bat, you get the green armor. The green armor is pretty good because it upgrades your weapon. In Ghosts and Goblins, you don't get any armor upgrades. I could get this bow, but honestly, it's not that much, it's not that much better. When you have the green armor, it just has, like, enemy-seeking projectiles? I don't know, it just... I never really liked the crossbow that much as a kid. And I don't really like it now, returning to this game. Yeah, these guys are annoying. Uh, oh, there we go. Ah! Alright. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Come on. Uh, sometimes enemies can spawn when you don't want them. And that's part of it. Alright, so I've talked about the gameplay, I've talked about the music. Uh, the enemies are your typical undead foes. You know, zombies, uh, sentient, sentient plant creatures. Oh, this is why the gold armor is awesome! Ah! And I don't get to demonstrate because I lost it. Die, you snake! Ugh! I call these fire snakes. And now I'm running around in my heart shape, or in my heart kind of, in my heart boxers. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I'm kind of seeming like I'm not doing that bad, but honestly, I could be doing worse. I could have died already. And points are just there for gaining extra lives. Every 20,000 points, you get an extra life. So basically, the game's challenge is uh, trying to figure out when to move, because there's no way to speedrun this game. Like, I could see people trying to speedrun this, and I'd be like, no, there's, there's restrictions uh, like this, where you have to patiently wait to figure out the pattern, find out when the, the skulls will stop following, Get move when there's no one spawning and trying to kill you. Uh, I guess now's a, good, a better chance than ever to demonstrate this. And that slowdown was legitimately the game. Ah! No, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. Uh. And this is why I don't like the crossbow. It fires up. Oh, oh, shoot. Wizard. We don't like the wizard. The wizard will turn you into a baby or a seal or something other equally helpless. You just don't want to, you don't want to mess with that guy. And unlike, uh, my controller hates me. It likes to randomly press down for no reason. I think I talked about that in my last uh, semester day. Um, uh, a lot of the challenge in this game versus uh, ghosts and goblins is a lot of the platforming. You notice I do a double jump. That's, uh, see I, did, I press down again. That's a lot of the things 
that is different from this game versus the older game, where you can jump once. This game, where you can actually strategically control your jumping a little better, which is a big improvement, considering uh, I would not be able to make any of these jumps if I were to play the if I was playing the original right now. All right, let's give me some green armor. Oh no! <sighs> and sometimes that can happen. You're expecting something good, and then a. Like, the game is trying to troll you, and you probably noticed my timer just reset. That's that's a useful thing that happens if you get, like, the halfway point of the level, and then it resets, because there's technically two sections of every level. And when you find this, this halfway point, you get reset to, uh, well, not really reset, but you get a, uh, you get a, uh, a generous little checkpoint. No! I do not want the wizard. But I do want to demonstrate what that could do to you at some point. And this is gonna kill me! Oh! Yeah. Oh well. In a couple of in a couple of thousand points, I'll just get another extra life anyways. Okay. So, like I said, this is the halfway point. Always double jump everything because double jumping is Oh no, I'm back to the spear! I do not like the spear or the lance or whatever it's called. No! Oh! Oh! And I did mention getting an extra life. And then I just lost. I'm not pissed off though, this game is fun. That's just my stupid... stupidness. I'm not happy with this weapon. Uh, I think I already mentioned, but I might have thought about it and not actually talked about it. The crossbow, I don't really like it because it always fires up. And there's no direct way to attack your enemies and also these giant bleed... giant pimple pimple things that, that, that explode for no reason. Yeah, there's no real way to aim this other than slightly, slightly up and then slightly less up. So, oh god, no, flame weapon. Okay, it is just as useless as it is, as it is, it is useless in this game as it is in Ghosts and Goblins. You throw two, wait for them to, uh, you throw two flames, wait for them to die out, and then you can throw again, leaving you vulnerable. So, definitely not gonna... Yeah, I don't want that weapon. I want something better. Give me something better. That's what I want to say. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I will admit, when you get the gold armor, it has a cool up ability, and its its attack is increased. Like, the gold armor, uh, uh, or I should say, when you get the green armor, everything gets increased. Attack, and everything else. And then when you get the gold armor, it's even better. But, honestly, is the, is the, uh, the flame good enough to get on its own, even with the upgraded ability? I mean, it, it basically gives you like a, uh, it basically gives you a shield of sense, like, see, I, I wanted to do that on purpose, cause this, cause, yeah, you just, you're just a baby. I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, and then the game writes game over in flames. Hell yeah, I'm gonna continue. Oh, and you get credits. Or whatever that's worth. Alrighty, do I start exactly where I'm at? Okay. Okay, so I was talking about the flame weapon and its uh, green and gold suit abilities. Basically what it does is it creates a more effective flame and it kills things better. Good deal, right? Uh, so when you charge it up with the gold suit, it turns into like a temporary... A temporary, uh, like a bubble shield, almost. But, I mean, it sounds cool, but honestly, it wears off after a while, and you gotta keep recharging it and keep it up, and then there's gaps in it, so you could probably end up getting hit by something that you don't intend to. Honestly, it's just better to go with everything else. Hell, even the lance got upgraded by the gold suitability, but honestly, the daggers are better, because you fire faster, and not to mention it does this. DRAGON POWER! Yeah! 
Everything has its own special ability. The crossbow has a uh, treasure finder ability. It instantly reveals hidden treasures and uh, possibly gives you items or something or whatever. Um, the lance has... Thunder? I think? I can't remember, honestly. Ah! I killed it and then I died. One thing I like about this game is how you can skip the, the map screen, which is nice. And I notice when you die, your skull just moves. I don't want the crossbow. Ah, oh, crap, I'm stuck with it. Well, I, get to, I guess I get to demonstrate the treasure abilities if I can live long enough with my armor. Now I'm just trying to play the game. I think I've told you everything. Um, let's see, plot. Basically, the plot of this game is the same as Ghosts and Goblins. You know, you gotta fight Satan and his army of the whatever. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. The good thing about the upgraded weapons is that you kill things quicker, which is what you want to do, right? Yeah, that's what I want to do. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to rip out his heart and f and show it to him so we can see how black it is before he dies. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of stretching here. Ah! Uh, Woo! I really hate these freaking things. They hurt you no matter what you do. You go down a hill, they start rolling at you. Oh yeah, here's the treasure ability. See, look, I just revealed a treasure. And you have a little few seconds of invulnerability, which is nice. Or maybe I should just do this. So I can do this! Yes! See, double jumping in, in this game is very useful. And you get another shield if you can live long enough. And now finding the, four, the first level boss. And unlike the f Ghosts and Goblins, it is not a unicorn. It is a giant f bird. Whose head extends from its body, somehow, and also spits out uh, its young. I don't know what good this will do. There's nothing here, just that because. Die! God, this is why you need the daggers. Yeah, this is why you get the knife. It's so fast and kills everything instantly, and its and its ability is actually useful against a boss. And here comes the dreaded second level. The goddamn pirate ships. There we go. No! Uh. I'm a little girl. I'm a helpless little girl. <laughs> I think it depends on what level you are, what level you are in. But, basically, the wizard can turn you into whatever random things he feels like. And it could be anything from, oh, I love this weapon! This is why! See, watch this, watch this, watch this. Ah! No. Well, I can't demonstrate that to you. Basically, the upgraded version of this weapon is, yeah, a nice, dub a nice double-sided throwing something or other. And also, it, uh... It's charged up ability with a gold suit is a friggin' whirlwind of death. Yeah, it's kinda... He touched me by, like, this much. A ghost. A corporeal... Something... A ether ethereal... Being has killed me. Oh, no, 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 don't want the lance. Don't want the lance. I don't want the lance. I killed him off screen. Uh, that's rich. Yeah, so you always want to double jump in. Because you never know when treasures will show up. Yeah, see, here is what it is. Let's see if I can actually. Oh, it's basically just a spinning blade. Like, I can't actually. It's hard to tell what some of the, some of the weapons are. Ugh. I have to stop every five seconds and kill one of these things. Uh and the water is always rising on you. All right, I'm just gonna get up here. And you can't fight on the friggin' ladder. Ugh. And you can only throw one of these at a time, which makes it a little tedious. But uh, come on, go! Stop spawning already! Ah! Uh, I could use a suit right now. Probably gonna get a friggin'. Uh. 
Alright, one more. One more. Ghosts are overwhelming sometimes. And if I get far enough, I can show you the insanity is... Yes, the knife! The insanity that is the uh, whirlwinds. Or not the whirlwinds, but the... Uh... Well, okay, so you're in a... You're in a ship graveyard, right? What do you think else is going to be here? More ships and stuff, and then you get to go on the ocean, and then it's all going back and forth. And this game is very technically impressive. The background detail here is awesome. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, at least I get enemy-seeking items. Or enemy-seeking ability. Which, it could, as long as it doesn't get interrupted, it does that. And also, you can't fire unless... Okay, sometimes this game can get a little bit of, you know, bullshit. But, oh well. Uh, it's it's a Capcom game, so yeah. I still love this game. I still love this game. I will play this till I die. I will always have fun, and it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge if you can endure it, and if you can outsmart the game, especially. So I've been that wolf from Hyrule. This is Snesterday, and I'll get see you guys tomorrow on Mo or at least Monday. Uh, Anyways, bye. Oh, hey, since it's so heavy here, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I do appreciate all the support you guys give me. I know I'm a small channel, but I, hey, I do what I can, right? Well, if you want to subscribe to me, there'll be a link down here to uh, find my channel. If you want to watch the video that I just put up uh, the last couple of days, it'll be right here. And if you want to watch the last week's video that I just had last Saturday, it'll be all over here. Thanks everybody, and I want to take the time to thank everybody who has motivated me to keep making these videos. And I want to thank all my watchers and subscribers, and all of my friends all over, whatever, whoever supporting me right at the moment. So this is a big thank you to everybody. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I'll be seeing you guys next time.